you guys are here and you're like, you know, Chicago, wow, what an interesting anthropological experiment. <laughs> no, but I want you to understand this. These investments in kids, Isaiah Thomas and I did 12 basketball courts Friday and Saturday night from 8 to 10, or 7 to 10. You get a, not only a basketball court, you get a coach, you get a scorekeeper, you get a uniform. We thought 800 kids. I'm going to tell you the story. 2,500 showed up. I don't have enough money. I mean, if I open up 43 of them, I couldn't supply all the kids that want to come. I went to the first one opening up Columbus Park on the west side near Austin, Garfield area. So I sat down as a kid who'd just gotten off the court sweating. Martel. I started talking to him, and I was going to walk around and talk to all the kids. Well, he was so engaging, I just could not get up. And I, when he just came Friday night, lives upstairs in a three-bed flat with his mom. And I couldn't get up, and I said, finally, I did, because he was just so engaged, I said, so get me a car, and I wrote his mother. I said, Mom, one parent to another, you've done well. I'm just telling you, I know how hard it is. I got a teenager at home, three of them. You've really done well. So I, I finally got up. I'm walking around. I said, hello, I'm walking out. He uh, is walking out. I said, where are you going? He says, I'm going home. I said, come on in the car. I'll give you a ride. We're on the west side of Chicago. Now, he comes to play basketball. He's got two Tahoes, four cops, and the mayor in the car with him. <laughs> <laughs> and he's at a charter school. It's all African-American male. There's three of them in the city. We get to his house. I'm about to get out because I'm going to walk him to the door. He puts his hand on my hand. He goes, Mr. Mayor. I go, yeah, Martell. He goes, may you have a blessed evening. I got four cops and two Tahoes, and he's telling me to have a blessed evening. These are good kids. Invest in them. Give them a shot. Somebody that cares about them, and they're going to be fine in life, and that's what's missing. We're not a good government's not a good replacement to a parent. As long as there's a breakdown in the family, we have to step up and do our replacement investments that give these kids the equal shot that your children and my children are having. And if we do it, we're going to be really successful. a city that's a bell curve without the bell. That's not good for your politics. It's not good for your long term of your city's capacity. It drives what I'm doing on community colleges. It drives what I'm doing on schools. And let me say a couple of things. There's five things that we can do as a city that really make a difference in a neighborhood. Education, parks, libraries, transportation, and safety. The private sector can't do it. We've got to do those things. If we do these things right, both commercial, retail, and residential living can really prosper. 